Hey guys, what's going on? I'm in West Allis today. I'm gonna go check out Alphonsus because I heard they got some pretty crazy stuff there. You guys wanna come with me? Let's go check it out. So many cool things to see here. I showed you a lot of it. I'm, it's just taking me back. Take me back to when I was a kid. This is amazing. I bet the owners are about my age because this is cool stuff. We got He-Man, we got wrestling, we got garbage pail kids. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. So they do close at 2.30 today. They really don't have seating inside to, uh, to eat. So I'm actually gonna grab myself to go and I'm gonna go find a park. But I'm real excited, excited for you guys to see what I get into. They are famous for something here. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that once we pull that out, but uh, this is not a low calorie meal, guys. Not at all, but we'll go check it out. All right, thanks a lot. We'll be right back. Awesome. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. Have a good one. Ooh, I'm ready. Let's go, Let's rock and roll. Bye guys. <laughs> All right, I got my food. It's uh, they said there's a park down the street. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the park and eat some food. All right, be right back. All right, everyone, I got my food. I am at the park. I'm so excited. First thing I just wanted to kind of show you, I got a sandwich with fries, and uh, look at all the fries they give you. These and they look amazing. Oh, they're that weird like textured fries. I can't even explain what it's like. It's almost like there's like Parmesan or something on here. I don't know, but they're tossed. Mmm. They literally gave me a handful of ketchup. Oh, these are so good. All right, don't get full off the fries. Don't get full off the fries. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the sandwich that I got. The sandwich is huge. Don't mind my placeholder. It is a, um, you know what? You give me a minute and I'll find out what this is. All right, so the sandwich I got is called the Willy Pep. Let me find out what's in here. We got double pepperoni, double mozzarella, pizza sauce on a grilled cheese style bread. Look at this thing. I don't even know where to start with it. I'm just gonna get right into it. <laughs> Definitely not healthy today, but I bet it's gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. So the bread is really nice and crunchy. And I think that's part of that grilling that they do, kind of like grilled cheese style. The sauce in here, the sweet and tangy are probably getting it all over my face. All right, so. Pepperoni, on fire, great stuff. The bread, nice and crunchy, kind of like a grilled cheese sandwich, which is awesome. The cheese, the mozzarella in here goes well. And then the sauce, like I said, it's got a nice, sweet, tangy hit to it. Um, it's a little bit messy though. So I will, I love these guys so far, but I'm gonna have to give them a ding. They didn't give me any napkins. What's up with that? Nah, whatever. So I'm gonna keep eating this because 
It's just damn good. I should probably pair with the fries. I mean, they did add fries with this. Mm. Oh yeah. Another thing I got was something called their fuel injected bread. Basically, it is a piece of garlic bread that they've toasted and then they stuck a needle in there and injected it full of garlic butter on the inside. I'm gonna go, it's a little windy out here. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I'm gonna see if I can just tear into this halfway through, oh, oh wow. Look at that guys. Look at all of that butter. Again, nowhere near healthy for you, but tastes amazing. Oh yeah. You definitely get the butter oiliness on here, but the garlic flavor just really hits, it hits hard. Mm. I'm so glad I had napkins in my car. I'm gonna need a bath or a shower after this. Holy buckets. Mm. This is, this is good. I can't stop eating. I'm gonna use it. Oh, I'm gonna use some ketchup. Mm -hmm. They gave it to me. Let's use it, huh? You know, there's a lot of people out there who actually don't like ketchup. I don't mind it. It definitely has a place. <laughs> huh. Oh, ketchup and fries, I think really go well together. Um, another thing that goes really well together is um, ketchup and mashed potatoes. I'm just kidding, guys. I don't. I don't do that. Mashed potatoes and ketchup just. I mean, it's it's weird, right? Because like this is a fried potato. Mashed potatoes are potatoes. You would think, yeah, it would all work, but it just doesn't. It doesn't work. Yeah. All right. I got one last thing to show you. This is the coup de gras, if you will. The holy grail. The reason why I went there. All right, so Alfonso's is known for their pizza. Really good pizza. I haven't had it. I just, that's what I've heard. Um, the sandwich was great, fries. I mean, like so far everything's been good, right? Again, just, I mean, so far I'm really, really enjoying myself. But there's this one thing that they got. They call it a lightning rod. I'm gonna show you what that means in a second, but I gotta give a big shout out real quick to my friends, Jonathan and Marianne out in Dallas, uh, Texas, not Dallas, California, Dallas, Texas. I was out visiting them and we we're talking about the channel and they said, hey, Bill, have you ever been to Alfonso's? And I think I'm saying that right. Alfonso's, maybe someone can correct me if I'm saying that wrong. I probably said it three different ways in this video already. But they go, they got the slightly wrong and you really need to go try it. All right, well, I lived in Wisconsin for 20 plus years, never heard of Alfonso's. So I was a little shocked by it. Look them up, they're right here in West Dallas, basically in my backyard. It's like, I got to get out there and give them a try. Ooh, napkins flying all over the place. Give me one second. Guys. <laughs> like I said, it's windy. Let me just pull this out. Look at this thing. This is a cheese stick, a mozzarella stick. Look at that. Holy buckets, this thing is huge. Like, it's as big as my arm. Look at that. Well, when you get a mozzarella stick, you gotta do the cheese pull. I'm a little scared. Let's do it. Break this thing open. Oh boy. Oh, all right. So, admittedly, I had been letting it sit for a little bit. It cooled off, but Man, look at all that cheese. It tastes the cheese, maybe it's really good. Mmm. There really is really, really good cheese. So, they give you some pizza dipping sauce. 
we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. I don't know, like, how would you share this with someone like just what I did, just break it apart? I don't know. And do you really need more than one of these for like 20 people? It is like, it's like a cheese pizza. You know what I mean? Like you got the crust, you got the cheese, you got the marinara. Ooh, I need something to drink. <clears throat> but yeah, this thing's insane. I can't, I don't think I can finish one of these. Maybe I can finish it like half tomorrow. Wow. Fonsos, this is your claim to fame, my friends. It's not a bad way to go. I really hope those things air fry well because uh, I couldn't even finish the half that I was eating on, so. But it was a lot of food, yeah, so. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about final thoughts here. This is a fun place. It's a, a great place to go grab something if you're gonna have some friends over, have a party. Um, there's the park. It's literally a, a two minute drive, if even that, right down the street, that's where I'm at, where you could grab yourself, come here, hang out at the picnic tables, enjoy. The picnic tables are a little wobbly, so be very careful of that. But overall, this was fun. This was fun and great and I am so ashamed and so not happy with the fact that I didn't know about this place sooner. Um, with that being said, when I'm in the area, I'm gonna come check out their pizza. They have two different kinds of crust, it looks like, a cracker crust and New York style. And then within that too, they have a couple different variations of like making it spicy or, or whatever. Um, they have a couple other sandwiches as well. The wait was fun because, again, I got to play video games. People there are so amazing, so nice. Um, I was telling them about how I learned about this place, and they got it. I mean, they, they understand, right? It's, it's a, Milwaukee is actually a pretty big city. You're not going to hit everything up. So I was really glad that my friends told me about it to give me an opportunity to go check it out. So as we normally do with videos like this, we're going to talk a little bit about pricing. Now, the lightning rod mozzarella sticks, which, again, are freaking huge. You get a full order, and that's four sticks, or you can get a half order, which is two sticks, and the half order was $16. So you saw I got two sticks, three things of sauce. If you want more sauce, there's an extra dollar for that. The Willy Pep sandwich that I got, that was 10 bucks for the sandwich. The sandwich was, it was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a little bit messy. It's definitely one of those sandwiches, like a guilty pleasure for me, but really, really good. And for 10 bucks with those fries, that is a no brainer guys. Like that is a great value when it comes to grabbing something for lunch. Yeah. And then that, that garlic bread, that big piece of garlic bread, 350. And again, I think that's a great value as well. So I had a little sticker shock when it came to the, the lightning rod sticks, but again, I mean like, if you actually took one of those sticks, cut it up into smaller chunks, that is like an appetizer, and an appetizer for eight dollars isn't a bad way to go. So, overall, I think great value. If you haven't been, you got to go check them out. Tell them Bill sent you. It won't do anything for you, but at least they'll know I'm thinking of them. Thank you guys so much for coming and checking this out. Thank you again, Jonathan, Marianne, for turning me on to a a place in my hometown that I had to go to Dallas to find out about. I hope that's not the case anymore. I hope you guys see this video, know that it's here, and you go check it out. All right, thanks for coming. Until next time, woo, can't let the other side go. Peace out.